10 UP teams entered and only a handful would survive the regional semifinals. Good evening, everyone. I recently found out that my sister is getting engaged very soon. She's also going to be graduating in a few months, and she's up for a promotion at her job. Things are looking up for her, but she still sleeps with a nightlight. That's just the truth. Speaking of successful girls, the high school basketball regionals took place tonight, so let's start in Class C, hosted by Marquette. It was a David versus Goliath matchup as West Iron County faced St. Ignace. The Wycons got off to a great start to this game and they look to keep it up. Emmy, the winner, Kinner with the shot off the glass as West Iron County led by six in the third. A little later, off the miss, it's Lenny Gustafson with the offensive board and the bucket. The Guster cuts the deficit down to two. Next possession for the Saints, the Guster from three-point land, money. And St. Ignace grabs the one-point lead. Back the other way, it's Kinner with the sweet jump shot. And now the Wycons take the lead back. But that didn't last as Tessa Shepard gets the quick layup to go. Shep got the lead back for St. Ignace. And this time, they wouldn't look back as the Saints beat the Wycons 67-58. In the other semifinal, it was a rematch of last year's game as Clara Johnson and the Miners faced off against Calumet. Opening minute of the game, Leah Bjorn to be wild. Hits the three as she gets this party started. Next possession for the Copper Kings, and it's Amber Johnson going baseline, and AJ gets the layup to go as Calumet jumps out to a 5-0 lead. But the Miners answer back. Madison Contio with the mid-range J, and Maddie K gets the first two points for Nagani. Little later, Miners attacking. Clara Johnson with a beautiful pass, and it's McKenzie. Where are the car keys with the basket and the foul? And Nagani is building a little momentum. Caught you off guard with that one, huh? They worked the ball around to the Kakes. And she gets another two points for the Miners. But the Copper Kings were on point tonight. Bjorn with another three and swish. Calumet gets the best of Nagani, 60-49, to the final score. And so the Class C Regional Championship game is set as Calumet will take on St. Ignace in a rematch of last year's game, which saw the Saints win. That game will tip off at 7 o'clock in Marquette. To the Class D semis down in Kingsford as Forest Park faced Big Bay Danak. Fourth quarter, Trojans up big and they would keep shooting. Hannah Chris Cross gets nothing but net on that shot. Back the other way though, it's Madison McPhee and Maddie Mack gets the floater to fall as Big Bay tried digging out of the hole. Moments later, Cassie Devine gets it, she shoots and she scores. The CD player doing her part to keep Forest Park ahead. But don't count out the Black Bears. Long two from Hallie Potvin, and she hits it as HP 20 keeps on fighting. But this night belonged to the Trojans as they go on to win it 62-23. Game two featured Paige Welch and Bark River Harris taking on Jeffers for a spot in the regional finals. First quarter, Jets looking to strike first. Sierra even Stevens for three, and she hits the triple to open up the scoring in this one. A little later, this pass is going to be intercepted by Kelsey Boucher, and Boucher will take it back all the way. The littlest girl on the court scores the first bucket for BRH. Jeffers, they'd answer back though. Alexa, give the Jets three points. Alexa Cluthier proving she's way better than Siri. A little later, it's Paige Welch's juice with a three of her own buckets, and she was far from done. Welch from downtown. Oops, she did it again. Barker for Harris hangs on to beat Jeffers 45-37, the final score. So the championship game will feature two rivals as Barker for Harris will face Forest Park. These two teams split the regular season series. Tip-off is 7 o'clock Thursday at Kingsford. Class B action now, down in Manistique as Houghton faced off against Kalkaska. First quarter, Gremlins with the early lead, Madison Dillinger with the baseline jumper, and Maddie D hits it to give Houghton a seven-point lead. A little later, Sloan Zenner with the corner three, and bang, the Zen Master pushes the lead to ten. Second quarter now, and it's the Zen Master doing what she does best, and that's get buckets as she scores on the layup. This game would go down to the wire, but Kalkaska would hit a shot at the buzzer as the Gremlins lose in heartbreaking fashion, 58-57. to And in Class A, it was the end of the road for Marquette as the Redettes fall 59-36 to to number 5 ranked Midland Dow. Marquette finishes the season with a 20-5 record.